So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Weak against shock.
Time to override machines and call. Green Channel fetch a price. He must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Shock could do a lot of damage.
merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Oh there! Supply. What's the north? I can get you stocked up for the wild if you need. We're built for leaving. machines are made, I might know how to override them. <laughs> Looks like the trail goes into the hillside.
ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a Zero Dawn? What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. <sighs> Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Been easy. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on data error memory structures. Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Do you know where Silence went? He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. 
So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact, non viable biospheres aborted. Five, four, two, six, one, two, one, six, eight. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research, as demanding and time intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right, of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? Just to confirm. Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? 
The one that woke it tried to destroy life on Earth. Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... Look, the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. messed up obviously but despite the malfunction you can still get through if you'll be patient for a while longer see those crystals there the asram call them fire gleam they're combustible not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that but maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some at the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a leap lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill... Everything I need for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting and eligible data. Ah! I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. And that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup.
Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. I'll get my kit dry at least. locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. Maybe so. That did it. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Babe Hades. It's a vile little thing, and it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know. I'll try my focus.
here. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, I love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exception walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. There. The Outside the noise dampening field, a console next to it. 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hap, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. This place turned out a lot of malware before Why well, start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, like but I told them, to I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. 
Nugget got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> use of this. Okay, so much for the flooded maze. Hold for Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. At least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups. The other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm? It's not exactly stable. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod.
more like a seed from which Gaia's mind could grow if it had subfunctions with which to form a heuristic matrix. So it's useless? I'm afraid so. Well, that was subfunction. Go! Aloy, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. What would I do? A good one. If it works. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. She's conscious. She helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres! Beta! Well, 
Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the effect- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. You don't know what the hollow is like. Aren't training I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. He's too close. I won't make it. Bye bye, pretty face. This kills all mine. Ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Uh, I the main step. Two more coming! Huh. 
Fight me! Not that dumb machine! No! I gotta tell you. This is hard! You got this. Have all the fun. Was that me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current. Is it heading for an exit? Get out of here.
some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you. About the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave sinner. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her 
condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. No trouble out there? The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of plain song. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. 
That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in the cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in Plainsong when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. 
go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Huntress. Now this outlander. So really, what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Sunshine upon you. Need to meet Laurel and Zone in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. 
Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can rebuild Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proven are. First, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. Atomic. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding Looks like those three are in trouble. Climate should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough.
The blight is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. Lord, the Ataru is land gods. So I feel it's with blight. It's like they're still following their programming. Even though it's killing everything. Watch your... There's Varl and Zoe. I'm here, as promised. And singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them.
Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? <laughs> so says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's that? What's that from the it's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy. Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. They must have come from the coordinates. We have to move. Machines down.
Do you really think we can do something about all of this? All right. machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There was more than just a miracle the way I got it.
This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Oh no! to the cordon. Let's go. Right behind you. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave.
We shouldn't linger here. that ahead like a cauldron door <sighs> to understand what's going on in there you're gonna need one of these Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zod. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. It wants us dead. Follow my lead and be ready for anything. We have to find the core of this place. Aloy, going somewhere? Cut! 
This is a cauldron. Where machines are born. It looks like one, but... If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? The river? But I have a feeling that's not all. takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a festival. Shoot the gears. I can walk them into place. Make a path up. 